welcome to the next episode of Medicos Update. Hope you all are doing great. Without further ado, let's move on to the latest medical news from around the world. It is presented by Medicos. Is SB1C an ideal biomarker of well controlled diabetes? SB1C is a biomarker with a central role in the diagnosis and follow up of patients with diabetes, although not a perfect one. Renal insufficiency, iron deficiency anemia, hemolytic anemia, hemoglobinopathies, and pregnancy, and also intake of specific drugs could compromise the sensitivity and specificity of the biomarker. Alternative Methods for diabetes management such as fructosamine, glycosylated albumin, and device based continuous glucose monitoring are to be discussed. GI symptoms and chronic fatigue may persist month after COVID 19. Result of a recent cohort control study suggests gastrointestinal symptoms and chronic fatigue may persist month after COVID 19 results. About 5 months after SARS-CoV-2 infection, relative risks of loose stools, somatization, and chronic fatigue were increased by approximately 2-3 to fold compared to individuals who had not been infected, according to study results presented at the annual Digestive Disease Week. And two drugs, Ostekinumab versus Adalimumab for Crohn's disease. Result of head-to-head SEVI trial shows that for biologic may be adults with motor to severe Crohn's disease, treatment with either Adalimumab or Ostekinumab leads to similar outcomes. And FDA details to the FDA, many sunscreen have a carcinogen. Palisur announced this week that the petition the FDA to recall 40 batches of sunscreen and after sun products, they say tested for high levels of the chemical benzene, a non-human carcinogen. And first mutation gains FDA approval. Sotorasib, also known as Lumacras, is the first drug to treat Keras C2C mutation in non-small cell lung cancer, which until now have been considered resistant to drug therapy. And that's it from us in this episode. If you want to know more about any one of these, please go to the, this link. And at last, wash your hands with soap and water. Thank you.